And I call the member for Eden and Aaron. Thank you. My question is to the Minister for Emergency Management. Why has the Prime Minister rejected the recommendation of the Bushfire Royal Commission that a sovereign aerial firefighting capability be established? The members on my left, the member for Eden Monero. That assertion is incorrect. We have not rejected that. We have not rejected that. It is important. It is important to understand. It is important to understand that it is the fire commissioners from around this country that determine the makeup of the aerial aircraft that we take. It should not. It should be about the fact that we let the professionals, the professionals, make that determination. And when you talk about a sovereign fleet, let me just give you a statistic. AFAC, which AFAC, which is the peak council of Australian fire commissioners, who through NAFSI, who is their commercial entity, that procures those those aircraft. There is 128 of the 158 aircraft that are sitting on tarmacs around the country at the moment that are Australian, that are actually Australian. So already, AFAC and NAFSI are already working through the fact that there will need to be Australian aircraft on the ground. We will now work with the states to make sure that we work through that recommendation together because they are the ones with the expertise in which to determine whether you need a large aerial tanker, whether you need small wing aircraft, whether you need helicopters. They are the ones that, through their jurisdiction, will decide exactly the type of aircraft. Not politicians, but in fact fire commissioners should make that determination because that is the meticulous planning they went through last year. And to say that they didn't is a slur on those fire commissioners and the professionalism in which they have undertaken in being prepared for not last, just last, last season, but this season. That is what we will continue to do, to take the advice from the professionals, not from politicians. Again, this, is about safety. this isn't about politics, and it's disappointing. disappointing that you will not respect the sovereignty and the expertise of those men and women who are the very best fire commissioners in the world, as far as I'm concerned. They proved themselves in last black summer better than anyone under the circumstances that they were there. And not once did the government let them down in terms of having the assets they required. In fact, in November last year, I wrote, on yes, my really, in November last year I, vote, I wrote to AFAC, asked them, did they have enough aerial assets? They wrote back and said yes. In December, they came back to us and said they required more. The Prime Minister and I acted swiftly and put an additional $11 million on the table to make sure there were larger aerial tankers on the ground. That is what we do. We work with the professionals. Don't use the desperation of politics to actually politicise something that should be above that. This is about understanding professionals, not politics.